I'm Edie Lush, executive editor of Hub Culture. Very pleased to be here, Davos 2023, with Omar Bawa. How are you? Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. I'm doing great. Super excited. Running on adrenaline. <laughs> Probably very little sleep. Very little sleep. <laughs> CEO of Goodwall. Thanks for stopping by. I want to start with a the theme of the World Economic Forum this year, collaboration in a fragmented world. How do you see those words? How does, what do they mean to you? Absolutely. I think we're, we're at a pivotal time for humanity, especially with the climate crisis, with, with, with what's happening on a geopolitical scale and what's happening in terms of the future of work and learning as well. And I think in order to address any of those challenges, we have to collaborate, we have to partner up um, to address them. You're looking particular at the, the future of work, how talent, I hate that word talent, how people, how people can get jobs regardless of where they are, exactly. from who their parents are and, and, and what, what they've learned, right? So tell me about what you do. So at Goodwall, essentially, we're building the skills-based social network for young talent. Think of us as a LinkedIn meets TikTok or LinkedIn for the next generation. We serve youth age 16 to 26 to navigate their learning and earning journeys. Essentially, we help young people develop their skills, showcase their skills, and then connect to opportunities, jobs, scholarships, internships based on their skills. Our community has grown to 2 million members in 150 countries, 60% of whom are female um, and growing strong as well. I love it. Tell me about some of the opportunities that have been created through Goodwill. 100%, right? So we connect to you know, jobs around the world, but we're also very much building on self-employment and entrepreneurship and ecopreneurship. Hmm. So empowering youth to develop those core transferable skills. Like what? Like communication, problem solving, creativity, which are valuable irrespective of whichever career they pursue, mm. and also enabling them potentially to create jobs for others in the future as well. How do you develop the problem solving skill? Right. So a really good example is we host um, you know, one of the largest entrepreneurship programs uh, through experiential learning. Right? So the idea is we prompt youth with a problem statement and then they have to pitch an idea in 30 seconds to three minutes, um, you know, demonstrating and as a result also strengthening skills like problem solving, right? solving for that problem and then demonstrating it on the platform. Interesting. Tell me where you would like to see Goodwall be in 10 years time. What's 100%. the big am ambition? I mean, the big picture behind Goodwall from a macroeconomic perspective is you've got a billion young people expected to enter the workforce this decade, right, by 2030. Of that billion, 90% in emerging economies. And if we think of the way in which we value and assess talent today, it's based on three criteria. It's based on your work experience, it's based on your education, and it's based on who you know. Mm. When it comes to work experience, catch 22, you need experience to get experience. When it comes to higher education or education, only a percentage or privileged few benefit. And third, unless your parents are well connected, more often than not, you're not connected. So by default, a young person's at a disadvantage kickstarting their career, which is why we're so bullish on skills, right? We really feel that skills can play the role of the currency of the future of work. And with Goodwall, our ambition is really to create the world's largest skilled youth talent pool. And as we know, youth account for 40% of global talent today. That's going to grow to around 70% by the end of this decade. Hmm. So in Amazing. essence, the world's largest talent pool. Amazing. Amar, thank you very much for stopping by the Hub Culture studio here in Davos. And I'm Edie Lush. Thank you for having me.